Throughout the course of your career, you've often explored the lives of political figures, and you've kind of tried to uncover what the public sees the, the person as and what the person actually is like. And the same can be said about South of the Border. Now, when you interviewed um, Chavez and the rest of the presidents from South America, what did you find? I found, I found human beings. That was what, you know, I think people lose sight of that, that they're really good people. They care. They're, ser they're public servants in the best sense of the word. They, they want to serve the people who elected them, and they resemble the people who elected them. Uh, America, we're still making these ridiculous claims on Chavez, that he's a dictator, he's a terrorist, that he's a threat to our country. This is nonsense. Uh, and unfortunately, it's going to backfire. So I don't see uh, an end to, uh, to the Bush game or the American game. This is the biggest threat to American control of South America ever, ever. The president of Ecuador had um, said that, uh, with all due respect, knowing the North American media, I would be more worried if they spoke well of me. Yeah. What do you think about that statement? And also, do you kind of feel the same way about yourself? No, I would like to, I think I'm an American who, uh, like, you know, would like to be, I, I, look, what Correa, what Rafael Correa of Ecuador was saying is mutual respect. That's, you can't treat us like we're your younger brother or your backyard neighbor. You cannot do that anymore. That was, you got away with it for a long time, it's over. Turning back to the North American uh, media, you, you've been pretty vocal about, I guess the whole film itself is uh, dealing with the perception that North America yeah. media has towards... I, I just don't understand it, the yeah. exaggeration. I don't understand the lack of reason. It's, to some degree, it resembles Iran. What advice would you give to young journalists like myself? Do you, I ask the questions it. you're asking. I like what you're asking, because at least you're open. I can, you know, so many journalists sit there and they, 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 they've decided, you know, they, they're cold. Uh, they, they don't, the, the best quality a journalist can have, or a young person can have, is empathy for what another person is going through. See, understand what Castro went through, understand what Chavez has to go through, uh, what these leaders try, it's hard to run a country, it's hard to think about the people first. These are key questions all through history. How do you be, a, how can you be a reformer? Y quizá esa es una de las razones de, de la actividad que uno lleva, el optimismo, la fe, la esperanza y las evidencias concretas de que sí es posible cambiar el mundo, cambiar la historia. Es posible, Oliver.